Okay, my dad is driving and it's definitely shaking going up this grade. Look at that. Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. I'm here with my dad. Uh, this is the next stop on the Ithaca road trip. We have some more uh, cars to do on the way back. But my dad's 2007 Honda Fit has developed a fish bite misfire. So it has 130,000 miles on the odometer. It's the base model stick shift, keeping it simple. We have no trouble codes. Now, 20,000 miles ago, it had a very similar symptom. Under load, low RPM, you're trying to go up a hill, uh, you know, push the gas and it'll go boom, boom. You, know, you, you can feel it, seat of the pants, the cylinder's dropping out. Last time with the scanner, we determined it was cylinder three on the misfire counters, it was counting up. So what's the easiest thing to do? Swap coils two and three, does it follow the coil? It did not, it was a spark plug issue. So the original plugs had 110,000 miles on them. I replaced them all with NGK, OEM, uh, I think we got them at AutoZone here. And it drove great. That was a year and a half ago. Now, 20,000 miles later, the fish bite misfires back. Well, it's a, it's a little premature to have another bad spark plug, but we don't know. So let's do a diagnosis, see which cylinder is counting up, and see if we need any parts. Okay, my dad is driving and it's definitely shaking going up this grade. Look at that. Cylinder two looks like our culprit. No, no. Yeah, so cylinder two has the most. It go, went up to like 50 counts. Now I don't know what two misfire and two misfire B mean. But it had a couple counts on all the cylinders. But number two is the main culprit. So we'll get back to the garage. And first thing, we'll just swap coils, you know, two and three. See if the misfire moves. So it's really noticeable going up the hill under load. Definitely cylinder two. So we'll swap those coils. All right, so the coils right here are towards the back of the engine. I have them all numbered one through four. So let's swap coil number one and number two. Do we see any signs of anything? They look okay. No burn marks. So we'll put number two in number one spot. And then test drive it and see if the misfire moves with the coil. So the misfire moved to cylinder number one. Okay, great. Yep, 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 right there. Just the not the fifth day. No, 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 no. Not the oh, oh. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. So it is a ignition coil problem. So the parts that I brought with me, one new spark plug and a replacement coil boot. So we can try putting on the coil boot and then test drive it again. If the problem goes away, the problem was not in the coil itself, it was just in the boot. If the problem is with the ignition coil, then some more parts will be required. But that's the diagnosis, it's not a spark plug problem. Well, so these coils have boots that can be removed and I actually got a couple spare ones. But I just wanna swap now the boots on these coils and then see if the misfire follows the boot. So taking the boots off, these coils do look kind of crusty inside. And this plastic looks like it's been a little chewed up. This is coil number one, the one that did not have a misfire. This is coil number two. Looks very similar. 
So we can spray some WD-40 in there, swap the boots around, and see if the misfire moves or stays. Well, what do you think, <laughs> Dad? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> no, no parts? Very, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> It drives absolutely perfect. So it looks like this problem was caused by some corrosion between the coil tip and the boot. WD-40 spray. Perfect. So maybe we should do the other two coils just in case. It's corrosion and uh, it's produced particles. Particles coming in the area with higher Electrical fuel gradient and it uh, caused <laughs> breakthrough. So the, the spark will cause ions to form uh, in that, uh, the green? The yes, it's particles crusties. and uh, the spark particles just uh, initiated with sharp edges, initiated this breakthrough. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So the spark then goes somewhere else? Is it jump, yeah, to jump on those particles? Uh, any sharp edges. It's very uh, dangerous in uh, electrical fields, so it's generate many bad uh, yeah. things. Okay, so just clean, spray? Clean, clean uh, yeah. Just, and uh, that's, uh, the, that's the repair. Yeah. So it look, looks like it's perfect. Let's, let's go down this hill and then come back up just to make sure. So coils number three and four look pretty much identical with the, the green crusties build up between the boot and the coil. You can see the tip of the coils here is degraded, the plastic, I mean just from heat, I guess some, and age. It's a very rough environment here, the spark is always jumping. So we'll just blow these out, clean them up, maybe put a little dielectric grease, and then this problem should be solved for, you know, long term. So after cleaning all the coils and the boots, we have absolutely perfect misfire graphs here. The car drives like a dream. It gets 35 to 40 miles per gallon even uh, with the hills here, so amazing. Now we have some spare boots and a spare spark plug. Great. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. So we're taking the backwoods way to the next diagnosis. 2005 Chevy with a knock sensor code. Figure while we're in the Ithaca vicinity, might as well explore the forgotten back roads. This is uh, south of Ithaca. They have a lot of cool minimum maintenance trails. So XL7 needs a little so stretches legs a little bit. All right, almost out of the woods. Washed out of here. Ooh.